It's been nearly two weeks since Malaysian Airlines Flight 370 was last seen or heard from. The search has now been expanded to cover large portions of land and water, including 11 countries and some very deep parts of ocean. 26 nations have now joined in that search. Only on two, as investigators look for clues in tracking the missing airliner, Jackie Sprague explains how a Miami Valley native is developing technology to prevent situations exactly like this. Well, Kettering native Matt Daish now runs one of the only two companies in the entire world that operates satellites for aircrafts. While his competitor can't comment because it operated the satellite used by the missing plane, Desh is sounding off about why it's been so hard to find it. The mystery surrounding Malaysia Flight 370 deepens. Matt Desh is paying extra close attention to the developments. He's the CEO of Virginia based Iridium Communications, which is a satellite network operator. We operate more satellites than anyone else does on, in, in the earth, and our system provides mobile satellite services to handsets and, uh, and uh, ships and airplanes and other and governments. All over the world, we actually have the furthest reaching satellite network, furthest reaching telecommunications network because we cover 100% of the globe. The 1976 Kettering Alter grad says his company isn't involved in the search, but he can't answer some of the biggest questions like how could a jet just disappear? Radar has been around for 60 or 70 years, but it's being replaced right now uh, by ground transmitters that receive GPS signals from the aircraft. Unfortunately, they're only putting them on the ground right where airplanes are. So in the oceans, there aren't any ground transmitters still. So it's all this brand new technology going into airplanes doesn't really help us as soon as you go over the oceans. That's where his company comes in. He says they're going to put those receivers onto their new satellites and relay that information directly back to the air traffic controller. Safety is one of the benefits. The real reason is that airplanes will be able to fly more directly between points. They'll be able to climb faster. They're going to be able to save a lot of fuel, burn a lot less uh, carbon, et cetera. And that's why, that's why we're doing it. But the side benefit of it is that you will know where every airplane is in real time, literally down to the second, which isn't, which isn't true today. Now the company plans to launch these new satellites between 2015 and 2017, so it will be completely operational by 2017. Jackie Sprague, 2 News, working for you. Well, after a long winter, spring is finally on the